Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Siren Television. We're going to take a look at a product from Whelan. It is the WSSC30 and Chris in Studio 2 is going to take it apart. Take it away, Chris. Thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's WSSC30. Or if you just want to go simple, Whelan's 30 watt self-contained siren and amplifier combo unit. All self-contained, polycarbonate housing, front facing speaker, plug and play harness, I've never seen the inside of one of these. So probably, like me, a lot of folks haven't either. So if you want to spend some time with me, I'm going to show you and myself how this is going to come apart. I'm going to start with removing the rear center screw here. the two silver screws on the sides as well. This little portion here, a little bump, is actually a poly fuse holder cover. So it's a little tough to pull out like that but if you push it down in the center, it'll free up the edges and it'll pop right out for you. Inside, you have a five amp fuse. Gonna go ahead, remove the rear screws here. And with the last screw loosened, go ahead and remove the backing portion of the unit here. Let me dump my screws out. Very small slip connections, affixing it to the inside driver. Go ahead and remove both of those. Base assembly of the unit here. Here's a close up of the driver component inside. And on the front face here, I'm going to remove the three screws as well, see what's behind the protective cone. Go ahead, pull out the cone portion here. And again, with those screws removed, here is your driver. Basically a large magnet assembly. As you can see, it wants to even grab onto the screw fixations inside the housing here. Inside, basically, directional optic component to help the sound travel out the front of the unit. Your housing assembly all freed up. So inside the base here, you have a chip assembly or a board. I'm going to go ahead, remove those screws in here as well.
With the four screws removed, I'm now gonna go ahead and remove a nut that's holding the board assembly to the polycarbonate top portion here. Remove the nut, give the board a little wiggle to free it from its mount post. So here's an inside of your polycarbonate top portion. The hole where your fuse goes through. The hole here is your volume adjustment knob and where your wiring harness input comes through. Internals for your 30 watt wheel and siren. Again, your fuse here, radio adjustment knob, harness connection point. And you can see it's fully epoxied onto the board there. So when it goes back through the housing, there's no possibility of condensation or grime getting through the hole this goes through back to the board assembly. Mounting portion, whole bunch of solder, relays, again, wiring harness that's also soldered into your board assembly. Well, now that I've gone ahead, taken the 30 watt assembly completely apart, I'm gonna go ahead, see if I can't put this back together. Start with the top portion here, grab my board assembly, realign the mounting bracket on the rear screw post. Again, the harness going through. So with the nut tightened back down, go ahead, reinstall the four black mounting screws onto the board assembly. Four screws tighten down again. Gonna go ahead, reassemble the front portion with the driver and the cone protector assembly. Again, inside here, the dimple will match up to the dimple on the top of the driver. Also, the three mounting screws. If you notice, the cover portion here does come off. Similar to your car speakers or your house stereo speakers, it's kind of an acoustical cover and projector unit for the actual magnetic driver assembly itself. This is actually what is producing your sound right here. So go ahead, take this, spin it around, realign it. Again, realign the cone protector inside, as well as the driver assembly. Gonna go ahead and give it a squeeze there. Take the three long screws. And go ahead, drop those in. Tighten down the last screw there. So you can basically see the speaker portion is now reassembled. Two post connections inside here. Don't forget to reconnect your two wiring posts.
realign the top portion So with that on there, I'll go ahead, take my four screws that affix the top and the bottom. Now with those four screws, the housing has been nice and tightened back together. Gonna go ahead, take my fuse cover and protector Pop that back in to the base here. Again, it's nice and firm to keep the condensation out. Lock that in place there. Go ahead, put the three screws back in that affix into the metal portion of the housing on the rear. And last screw. So there you have it. Whelan's 30 watt siren speaker combination unit. How it starts out, how it comes all apart, how it successfully reassembles. Harness quick connection point. Thanks for spending some time with me here on SirenNet Television. Again, I'm Chris, Whelan's 30 watt siren unit. Back to you, Stuart. Well, that was pretty darn interesting, Chris. Thanks a million. It's Monday as always, and I'm Stuart. And again, thanks for watching Sirenet Television.